History of the Roman Empire The history of the Roman Empire is a vast and complex narrative that spanned over a millennium. Here's a detailed overview. Founding of Rome, c. 753 BC According to legend, Rome was founded by Romulus and Remus, twin brothers raised by a she-wolf. This event is traditionally dated to 753 BC. Roman Kingdom, 753 to 509 BC. Rome began as a monarchy under the rule of seven kings. The last king, Tarquin the Proud, was overthrown in 509 BC, leading to the establishment of the Roman Republic. Roman Republic, 509 to 27 BC. The Roman Republic featured a complex system of government with elected officials, including consuls and senators. Rome expanded its territory through military conquests and alliances, including the Punic Wars against Carthage. The Republic faced internal strife, including the conflict between the patricians, aristocracy, and plebeians, commoners. Julius Caesar and the End of the Republic, 1st Century BC Julius Caesar, a military general, gained significant power and popularity. In 44 BC, he was assassinated by senators fearing his dominance, leading to a power struggle. The Second Triumvirate, consisting of Octavian, later Augustus, Mark Antony, and Lepidus, emerged as the ruling authority. Augustus and the Roman Empire, 27 BC, 14 AD. Octavian, the adopted son of Julius Caesar, became the first Roman emperor, taking the title Augustus. Augustus established the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and prosperity. He initiated vital reforms, expanded the empire's borders, and oversaw monumental construction projects. The Julio-Claudian Dynasty, 14 to 68 AD. Successive emperors, including Tiberius, Caligula, Claudius, and Nero, ruled during this period. Both achievements and controversies marked the Julio-Claudian Dynasty. The Year of the Four Emperors, 69 AD. Following Nero's suicide, a year of civil war saw four emperors, Galba, Otho, Vitellius, and Vespasian, vie for power. The Flavian Dynasty, 69-96 AD. Vespasian, the victor of the year of the four emperors, established the Flavian Dynasty. Under his rule and that of his sons Titus and Domitian, the Colosseum was completed, and the Jewish revolt in Judea was quelled. The Five Good Emperors, 96 to 180 AD. It was a period of stability and competent leadership under Emperors Nerva, Trajan, Hadrian, Antoninus Pius, and Marcus Aurelius. The empire reached its territorial zenith during this era. Crisis of the Third Century, 235 to 284 AD. Economic, military, and political turmoil characterized this period. Frequent changes in leadership and external threats weakened the empire. Diocletian and the Tetrarchy, 284 AD. Emperor Diocletian divided the Roman Empire into eastern and western halves, each with its ruler. This division aimed to make the empire more manageable. Constantine the Great and Christianity, c. 306-337 AD. Emperor Constantine converted to Christianity and issued the Edict of Milan, granting religious tolerance. He moved the capital of the empire to Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul. The Fall of the Western Roman Empire, 476 AD. The Western Roman Empire finally fell to Odoacer, a Germanic chieftain, marking the end of ancient Roman rule in the West.
the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire, continued to exist. Legacy of the Roman Empire The Roman Empire's legacy includes its legal system, Roman law, language, Latin, architecture, such as aqueducts, roads, and the Colosseum, and cultural influence on Western civilization. The history of the Roman Empire is a story of power, conquest, innovation, and transformation. It left an indelible mark on the world, shaping history for centuries to come.